investment with the potential to generate substantial rewards. An organization's shareholder's ownership position in the business is referred to as equity. Liabilities of the business are subtracted from the assets to calculate equity. A company's equity, for instance, would be $100 million if its assets were $200 million and its liabilities were $100 million. For several reasons, equity is crucial. To begin with, it serves as a gauge of a company's value. It is also employed to determine the amount that each shareholder has a right to in the event of a sale or a liquidation. The company's return on equity, a gauge of how profitable the business is, is thoroughly determined using it. Equity is one of the most commonly used pieces of data by analysis to measure a company's financial health and may be seen on its balance sheet. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipart. In this video, we will take a look at what is equity. In this video, I'll explain what equity is, why it's significant and how it may be utilized to generate funds for a firm. Risk and rewards associated with equity and also the differences between equity and returns on equity. Let us take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we'll have what is equity. Moving on, we understand the importance of equity in finance. Then we'll take a look at how equity works in finance. Moving on, we have different types of equity, risk and rewards, equity versus returns on equity, and lastly, a simple conclusion. Now, before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. Now, let's start with the first agenda, introduction to equity. In the world of finance, equity refers to the person or another entity's ownership stake in the company or asset. It represents the value or claim of the company's asset that remains after the debts have been deducted. Owning stock in a firm makes you a partial owner and also allows you to share the company's gains, loss and asset. This ownership is represented by the shares of the stock or equity unit. Equity in financial sector is typically associated with the stock market where investors buy and sell the shares of the publicly traded firms. The value of the stock may be influenced by a number of factors including the company's performance, status of the market and investor sentiment. Importance of Equity in Finance For a number of reasons, equity is essential in finance. Capital Formation Through the sales of the ownership share to investors, equity financing enables businesses to raise money. This money may be utilized for a variety of things including the growth operation, funding R&D and acquiring new assets. Equity markets make it easier to allocate money efficiently enabling companies to expand and develop. Risk in returns Equity investments have the potential to provide bigger returns than other financial vehicles like bonds and saving account. While equity investments have risk they also provide a chance for the capital growth and the piece of company's earning. Potential profits can be increased by diversifying the portfolio with the stock holding. Market Efficiency Equity markets give the buyers and sellers a place to trade the shares, promoting liquidity and price discovery. Market guarantees that assets are appropriately priced based on the supply and demand by enabling investors to exchange equity. Economic Growth The ability of the new businesses to obtain cash and expand is made it possible for equity financing, which also fosters entrepreneurship and innovation. This encourages the development of new technologies, economic growth and employment opportunities. How Equity in Finance Work Ownership When corporations sell shares, investors can purchase them and turn into partial owners. An investor's ownership interest in the firm is based on how many shares they hold. Profit and Dividends As an equity owner, you are eligible to receive the portion of company's earning. If the business is profitable, you could also pay out the dividends with the shareholdings. Gains and Capital The price of the company's shares may rise if the company's value rise over time. A capital gain is profit, then you can also sell the shares for more than you bought. Trading Shares of the publicly traded corporation may also be purchased and sold in the stock exchange. On the secondary markets, investors can swap shares of the investors. Investment in stock Includes risk since its values might go up or as well as down. However, historically, stocks have demonstrated the potential of higher returns compared to investments over the long run. Ownership Rights Shareholders have a number of rights including the ability to vote on significant corporate decisions and choosing the board of directors. The amount of shares you possess will determine how much power you have in the shareholding. Different Types of Equity Initial Public Offering An IPO is a procedure by which a publicly owned firm first makes its share available for the general public. By selling shares to the investors in returns for the equity ownership, a firm can also raise a lot of money by going to public. Private Placements During private placements, businesses sell shares of the stock to select a group of private investors. Then including institutions, venture capitalism and private equity firms. 
follow on offers. Businesses that are already listed on stock exchange can generate more money by selling the shares. Venture capital and private equity. High growth businesses and startups frequently obtain funds with venture capitals and private equity investors. In exchange for a share of company stock, these investors can contribute capital. VC and EP investments are assisted through the company's development objective while it also fosters growth and provides resources and experience. Crowdfunding Through equity crowdfunding, platform businesses may raise money for several small investors. In investment for money from investors, business provides shares of equity unit to the public. Platform for crowdsources, money from investors give companies, especially startups, a way to get funded by a large pool of bankers. Risk and Rewards in Equity Financing Risk and Equity Financing Business Risk A risk associated with the operation on the underlying firms must be assumed when investing in stock. A company's earning and development prospect can be impacted by a number of factors, including competition, changes in the market demand, technological advancement, government changes and managerial decision. Money loss. The return on investment is not guaranteed by debts or equity financing. If the company has a money problem or is unable to make profit, shareholders might lose some or all of the money. Absence of dividend. While some companies choose to provide dividends to investors, others may prefer to reinvest profits to the firm. Rewards and equity financing. Dividend. Profitable companies may choose to divide dividends to the shareholders. Dividends are reliable sources of income for the investors, which can improve overall investment performance. Ownership and control. Equity investors receive a piece of company's ownership along with the frequently accessible benefits, including the ability to vote and select the board of directors. Long-time growth potential. Equity investments have always offered the promise of high Long time returns when compared to other asset types like bonds and cash. Returns versus equity on returns. The ownership position in the firm that results the value of investment made by the shareholder is referred as equity. A measure of the company's ability to make profit for the equity is beneficial and efficient way is called as returns on equity. Equity serves as a representation on the ownership position and returns on equity quantifies the financial success to connect the equity versus the equity investment. Returns on equity is calculated by dividing the net income by the shareholder equity. It serves as a yardstick for evaluating how well the company converts the equity into profit. Conclusion In conclusion, equity is what gives people or organization the ability to become stakeholders since it signifies the ownership in a firm. In addition to voting right and possible capital growth, it offers a position of the earning. Equity offers a chance for financial involvement and possible reward through distributing ownership in a firm and serving as a way of raising capital, aligning interest and distributing ownership. Hope the video helped you to get good understanding of what equity is. We hope to see you again. Thank you. Just a quick info guys, Intellipath offers advanced certification in investment banking operations in collaboration with Electronics and ICT Academy IIT Guwahati. Through this course, you'll learn skills like stock borrow lending, risk management, trade life cycle, asset management, etc. via real-time case studies. All of these financial concepts will be covered by esteemed IIT Guwahati faculties and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the lucrative field of investment banking.